hello viewers welcome back to visual lens studios and in today's tutorial we are going to look at how to pull off a clean green screen using adobe premiere pro in most cases we are working on a budget we don't have enough money let's say maybe we don't have enough lights to make it very clean so for example in this case i was just using natural light sunshine and the my artist was just standing directly in the sunlight so however in this tutorial we are going to see how we can remove the background and another thing as you can see my cloth was really small and for me to capture the full shot you can see that the walls they're also being seen in my shot so we are going to see how to remove all those uh, so first you're going to see how to remove the green screen and add a new background and then we can be also going to see how to eliminate the unnecessary surroundings around our green screen because our cloth was small so if you have a big cloth fine you can set it up but if you don't have maybe you have this size that i was using this tutorial is for you we are going to see how to work around with green screen Rule number one, when you're working with green screen, make sure you have a tripod. So in my case, I didn't have it. And it's because uh, the background I was going to use, I wasn't minding about whether it is a flow or anything. I was just going to use a plain solid color, let's say yellow, red, pink, all that stuff. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into the tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is come to the king king uh, folder in the effects panel as i told you before is that you can come to window and find effects in case you're not seeing it anywhere close window <coughs> window then effects so search for ultra key and drop it on your uh, video clip so key color you can come and choose this and then click on the color you want to remove so so far it's, it has done a good job but as you can see we still have some roughness uh, due to maybe uh, some slight color changes because maybe the cloth is not evenly plain now to see what you're really doing clearly you have to change the output from composite and put it to alpha channel so it is giving us a black and white image so these grays we don't need them we don't need them so you have to to play around the settings of the ultra key until the, we have got rid of all the grays and we have remained with a clean white person and another thing uh, it's important that you just keep uh, playing around with the parameters and see what works best for you because uh, different times of the day you can give different settings uh, what i'm trying to say is that don't grasp the values you see me using here let's say 45 and think uh, every green screen will work at that value no <clears throat> there will always be a difference so we can come at transparency and see what it does so as you can see when we go this side it's eating up the person so if you see the grays coming up that means it is adding transparency also to the person so that means we have to push it down and I think this one we can leave it at where it was around 45 there so let's look at the highlight and see what it does so this one we can put it all the way down let's go to the shadows yeah so we can also move the shadows okay so we come <clears throat> we come to the tolerance and see what how it works so we push it up so all in all we are just trying to get rid of these artifacts around so let's try the pedest pedestal and see yeah it has done a great job so <clears throat> so let's try zooming in this one and see so we have a smudge problem here in the shoes there's some little grays that shows that the background will be revealed through these parts so also here at the shoulder part uh, the same case maybe also at the bottom but let's try changing the settings again around so that even here it is completely white 
not partly gray because as long as those little grays are there that means uh, the green screen is not yet clean so let's lower the transparency and you can see the transparency has done us a good favor a good work and we have managed to get a clean mask of the person so what you're going to do now is return to the output and come back to composite so so far that's the first step actually we have not even gone far in the met cleanup and all that stuff yep then uh i now want to uh to remove these extra that uh, these walls and floor because we actually don't need them so come back to the project panel and i'll come to this little icon which says a new item and then choose color mate so i, I want a color let's say yellow yellow maybe maybe push it a little bit to the orange and if you want you can name it orange and it's better you name everything so orange and now put it below your video so now let's get rid of this so i prefer using the crop crop to the crop effect so I'll come to transform and drop it on the green screen clip and then uh, come to the left side and drag it until the left side is clean then come to the top uh, move until it is clean then come to the right until it's, it is clean and finally the bottom until it is clean so maybe the as a final touch i'll do some little color adjustments to to my person so that it doesn't look kind of odd so what i'm going to do is uh, add uh, the limited color effect uh, on the color correction and choose limited color then let me play around the basic settings like the exposure and throw it up a little bit and push down the contrast okay okay let maybe the blacks because uh, a shot like make it a little black we try this and yeah, shadows yeah I just wanted his black to be black so basically that's how you make a green screen and thank you so much for watching guys